Are your feelings in your mind or in your body? Think about that. A lot of people cannot feel their feelings physically. And it's the first thing that I ask my clients to do. Tell me what it feels like physically. And they look at me like, what the hell are you talking about? For example, you feel sad. Okay, what does that feel like in your body to feel sad? Oh, it feels like sadness. Okay, that's not physical. That's just telling me the same word over again. Now, why am I making a point of this? Because emotions are actually physical sensations, and to the degree that you don't get that, you don't really have the ability to work on your most painful emotions. See, when you don't realize that your emotions are physical sensations, then you get caught in these mental loops. You try to figure out the solution to the problem. But the real problem is you, you don't even know what the problem is. You haven't identified the problem. So the first thing that you need to do when you have an emotion is you need to say, you need to think, you need to figure out by feeling, not by thinking, where is this emotion being felt in my body? Okay, that means a body part. And what sensation am I feeling there? So if I say sadness, I could say, I feel tightness in my throat. Okay, so see, we got a body part, throat, and we have a physical sensation, tightness. If I could also be sad by saying, I feel heaviness in my chest. Okay, good. And then, once we have that, and you wouldn't believe how hard it is for me to get people to that stage. It's very hard. People say, I'm having this feeling. I say, what does it feel like physically? And then they tell me the name of an emotion or another related emotion or something like that. And I say, well, if you're having an emotion, you're having it in your body somewhere. Where? Just tell me where. Okay. Second stage. What? Now that we've located the location, what's the sensation? Is it burning, tingling, tightness, heaviness? Um... What is it? Feel it. Okay. This isn't criticism. This is about getting us grounded in reality so we can do something about it. Please understand, if you don't know what you're feeling on this physical level, it's like you're driving in a blizzard on an icy road and you're pushing the gas pedal all the way down, but your hands are off of the steering wheel. It's not going to end well. So, then I say, okay, does that physical feeling really hurt? And the first response most people say is, oh yeah, it's terrible. It's like nine out of 10. It's, you know, it's really bad. But then I tune them into it. Is it really that bad? Is that tightness in your throat causing you excruciating pain? I mean, nine out of 10 would be 
pretty close to like having a limb amputated without anesthesia. Like that's really painful, you know, having multiple bones broken and, and whatever, you know, that's like nine out of 10. 10 out of 10 be all of that, and you're in boiling water. Okay, so, you know, are your emotions really that painful? No. Now, is this about, is this about denying your emotions or me saying, oh, your emotions are not painful? No. It's about seeing what is what. There is physical pain. There is mental anguish. There is emotional pain disconnected from the body, which is really mental anguish. Okay, so we want to differentiate what is what, right? Also, there's a different meaning if your sadness is in your chest or in your throat. It tells me a lot about what to do next. If you can't even really identify that, it means that you're in this undifferentiated state in your mental anguish, and that's tough. And so we need to get you grounded in your body so that you can feel the feeling, so you can process the emotion, and we can release it so it's not a part of your permanent reactivity. So that's part of what I do. Um, check out more, andysway.com, and I will come back with more little tips very soon. Stay tuned. Please like, share, and subscribe. Bye-bye.